Our new concerns tonight over toxic waste in the American River Parkway. It's disgusting. And I'm not comfortable with it for myself or my community or anybody else. Even after supervisors approved a $5 million boost to help clear homeless encampments along the river, one neighbor says nothing is changing. And new tonight, CBS 13 Steve Large is live in Sacramento with the big concerns entering this rainy season. Steve. The concerns are that all the illegal camping isn't only creating toxic waste dumps here, but when the rains come, all that toxic waste will move downstream too. This is what I found there. Lisa Lindbergh keeps a binder showing photos of the blight along the American River Parkway. A lot of toxic chemicals floating in here. Lindbergh lives a block from this toxic waste. Human feces, needles, propane tanks, all lying below the high water line of the American River, in danger of washing downstream during the rainy season. We need to get an emergency cleanup going. Lindbergh's concerns come three months after county supervisors approved an additional $5 million a year for parkway cleanup. Geologist Roland Brady testified with a dire warning then. If they don't clean up this debris before the rains come, it will be one of the largest hazardous waste discharges of the year. Sacramento County Chief Ranger Mike Doan is in charge of illegal camping enforcement along the American River Parkway and says rangers recently removed 12,000 pounds of debris in a single day. Is there a certain pressure that's being felt? It's not, it's not the pressure of the time constraints with the rainy season. Ours is really, you know, 365 days. We try to keep the trash out of the parkway. Even with the constant cleanup, dangerous debris is still lying along the river. Nothing's changed but the date on the calendar. A $5 million fix, only entering the rainy season on the American River Parkway, the cleanup is still far from complete. And the ranger I spoke to today said that in fact all year long they have removed 400 tons of debris here. But clearly from the pictures we're seeing and the neighbors in this area, they say they are concerned more needs to be done. That certainly appears to be a big problem. Steve Large, thank you so much for that.